Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back to Tim Bip Live. It's Perry here. I'm super excited to be to be here. Just to have you guys around. And I'm I'm just it's Thursday. It's been a long day. I'm a little sleepy, but that's okay because we got a friend come and join us for this week's stream. Steven's here. Hello, Steven. Dramhound's here too. Hello, Adam. Darren D's Bourbons. Hello, Darren. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't yet, of course, subscribe, like the video, comment if you're watching on the replay, all that good stuff. And uh, I don't have much else to say. I'm just excited to get into this. There's a lot of really good whiskey that's on the table for us tonight. I don't think he needs any introduction, but I'll give him a short one anyway. From Storytime Distillery, the Lord himself, <laughs> Shane Long. Shane, good to have you on the stream, buddy. How are you? Man, I'm uh, I'm ecstatic, dude. Uh, I'm <laughs> glad to get into these with you. Lord, dude, you, you don't you don't you don't get to use that title like you think you do. It's you, you think it was you get to use it more, but yeah, you you just don't. So yeah. are you are you officially a, a lord? Like, did you get one of those? Uh, oh, he's gonna show us. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> so do you do you own land then? Yeah, yeah, uh, two square feet. So uh, I'm going to put a distillery there and start making scotch. <laughs> <laughs> the it's world's smallest scotch facility. distillery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not really sure how many uh, barrels we're going to be able to fit in there just yeah, yet. Yeah. But... <laughs> It'll be small, small. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Well, Shane, uh, we'll uh, we'll get into this here in just, just a moment. But uh, we want to let people know you can support the show. Uh, through what we call snuffy chats, snuffy chats. It's our our method of uh, of super chatting here, uh, because we are not quite at uh, the where we need to be, so that we can do super chats. Okay, uh, on the channel, so you can find the links for all that uh, in the description. I'll also throw out the uh, if I can get to the YouTube page. Uh, I will throw out the, maybe, there we go, uh, the stream elements link, and it will be t uh, at the top of the, uh, the YouTube chat window, and message, there we go, highly, highly evolved, and definitely, definitely uh, prepared for everything tonight um gonna say hey to some folks in the chat too your huckleberry good to see you it's been a while very happy to be here and good to see you good to see you too cheers to you as well dustin says praise the lord perry for taking care of my issue we'll talk about that later top dog hello top dog cheers guys tony b mr hello. tony baravudes Bar baruvides that's what it was hello tony uh says what's up what's up with you man Embellish podcast. Hello, John. Cheers, friends. I'm driving, so I won't be watching, but I'm joining my Jepsons Twins bottle from Storytime. Nice. Uh, we're going to be talking about some Jepsons here in a bit. James Morgan. Hello, Perry and Shane. Hello to you, James. Donnie has shared the uh, the tipping link. So you go check that out if uh, you would like to do so. The Wack Attack is here. Hello again, whiskey friends. Hello again to you, Jeff Wack. Good to have you, buddy. Sugar Kitty's here. That guy is Wack. Doug H is here. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to you, Doug. Man, great chat tonight. Thank you all so much for being here. Clifton, Mr. Bourbon Bites himself, he's going to be going live oh, tonight, yeah. giving away a blind sample set as well. Speaking of giveaways, we're going to be doing one tonight, aren't we, Shane? We are. Yes. Let me uh, get you that solo layout there. Whatever that is, yeah. So it's a port port finished uh, starlight. We call it port night. There you go. <laughs> That's <laughs> I love I love the label on that. Actually, it took me <laughs> took me a second. Um, but if you would like to do so, you can shoot us uh, so tips so snuffy chats five dollars 
uh, is one entry. So for every five dollars, you get an entry. See, really good with the words and and whatnot. Tonight. You're a words are guy, aren't you? I am. It's you think that maybe I had a podcast, but it's. It, <laughs> I don't think it's true. Mm. I nobody can tell me otherwise. But Shane, uh, while we're getting into the first four, and uh, I'll ask you too, where do you want us to to start with this? Uh, let's start with the port finish, uh, Jeff. Let's do it. Since so, it's on the <clears throat> the tip of our tongue. So this comes in at 118 proof. Um, it's a six and a half year MGP 21 rye bourbon, uh, aged nice. in Chicago, uh, after two years and then, uh, put in a, a port barrel, um, and really like the results we got out of it. Awesome. Really like it. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to, uh, to get into this too, but, uh, I also want to take the time to allow you, uh, to, to talk about story time in this venture because, and I know that it's not the first time that you will have talked about it on Whiskey Tube, but uh, it has been some time, I feel like, since we, we've discussed at least how things kind of came about. So I want to give you the opportunity to kind of refresh people a little bit, but yeah. also talk about how things have kind of evolved <clears throat> and changed since uh, Storytime first uh, first hit the market. For sure. So. It, uh, you know, we started last year. Um, originally, it was it was myself. I had solicited uh, uh, Michael Klein, if you remember him, from Destination Bourbon. Yeah, of course. Um, Bobby uh, for the Bourbon Battalion, Bobby Williams, um, Chris Luddig, um, uh, Klein, Luddig, myself. And... There, I think it was, yeah, that was it. That's basically just those four. Oh, and then I, well, part of it too was I was starting the, uh, I knew there was another person. Uh, I didn't want to forget is I was, <laughs> I've started a, a nonprofit as well. Um, and it's still going through the processes of getting finalized. Uh, it's, it's some paperwork submitted. And Chris Wilzer, or you guys would know him as Wilzerk. Um, oh, okay. Gotcha. He was heading that up. So then about, I don't know, November last year, uh, Klein got really busy, uh, personal life stuff co- happened. Um, uh, Will Zirk got sick and he was dealing with some stuff. And so he had to kind of, everything kind of slow down with, from those two guys. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Bobby got real busy with work, traveling international. So it was really it for, say the bulk of it was just me and Ludwig. Um, and then recently, Ludwig has had to step away too. So now it's really it's just me. So, um, but the good thing is, it's um, it's kind of reinvigorated me and and made me realize I, I, that I want to do this, um, you know, full time. So yeah, I'm really retooling and 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 putting together everything I need to put together to kind of drive this thing to the next level. Um, but to get back to where it started and what it was about was about December 2020. Um, I came up with the, the idea because, and, um, uh, I heard this actually spoke about today, which I don't watch much, uh, YouTube reruns very often, or, uh, it seems cause I'm always busy, but today the, right. the junkies put out something, um, talking about the, the future of whiskey, what's going on. And they alluded to really one of the main things that, um, I kicked off story time was, and that's, we're running out of these stories to tell, and we've really got to build, a community and a group of stories that carry into the next generation of, of whiskey drinkers. Cause that's, that's what really pulled us in, right? It was, it was a connection yeah. with, with the past and being able to share that with the present and, and our friends. And that's, what's really cool about this, this, this liquid is it, it it's kind of an equalizer. It, it eliminates a lot of uh, uh, disparaging situations between people and, and just be, becomes a, a really good connecting uh, connecting tool. So so that was kind of the whole premise is, okay, wow, I really wanted to do this kind of single barrel thing and provide it at a price that was, you know, extremely affordable, um, you know, because that's the other thing, you know, everything was going secondary. And I thought, man, this, this community is so great. They deserve to have great whiskey and they shouldn't yeah. have to go pay these stupid prices. Yeah. Um, because it's just gotten out of control. Um, and, and so that was kind of the whole mantra behind it. And then I was like, okay, well, shoot, I'd really like to actually start distilling as well. Um, and that's still, I'm still working on that. Um, 
but in the meantime, I can NDP, right? So I can buy barrels and I can start blending and, and yeah. making my own blends. And so that's kind of where, where I've gotten to now is, is now I'm, I'm, I'm saying, okay, I'm going to do this at a full-time pace. What does this look like? And so now I have to put together a business plan and then I have to go and get investors because, you know, now I've got to, you know, I've got to raise big, big money for uh, yeah. enough to put out, you know, 20,000 bottles or whatever it's going to take in a year. So that's no kind pressure. of where it's at. And, and it's, and again, it, it stems from the idea that, that really this community is an example that we all should, should strive for in, in every aspect of our life, just how, how we rise up to, to help one another out. Um, you, you, you see it all the time. Someone has any kind of issue at all and they put anything out in the community and man, this community just rallies. It just rallies. Yeah. Um, and then it comes back to, you get to sit down and have a nice drink and talk about it and share your life with someone else. So I, I definitely needed, you know, post stress of the day, this first sip, <laughs> like it just, I, I've been talking about this a lot recently and it, it's, it's less of like. A Kentucky hug. I don't even have like a good word for it or a good phrase, but I, I find myself like if I've been stressed or just kind of like something's going on, like that first sip hits me in the chest and then it just kind of spreads out. And I don't know exactly like what to what to call that, because there's so many ways that you could phrase that to where it just sounds wrong. <laughs> and I don't want to I don't want to like invite that but if anybody in the chat has a, a good idea maybe for that but uh, I I do want to say thank you too because I haven't done this yet for for sending me these samples because oh. I'm uh, I'm very much already enjoying the port finish good good yeah I mean for, for me that that's kind of the whole thing right and and our tagline and I make sure that I repeat it often because it is important to me that that line is understood is the best stories are shared with friends. And that to me is kind of the whole premise behind my desire to do it is right. Is to, to yeah. extend those friendships and build those relationships. So man, I, I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. <laughs> this one I'm very fond of. It's a, it's a very good port finished whiskey. Yeah. And I'm really, uh, I'm really into the, the MGP profile especially that 21 percent rye so for me this yeah. just hits a lot of different things well i want to say too we had our first entry for the giveaway tonight nice it was from your huckleberry he's got one entry so currently if nobody else uh nobody get, else gets in on it uh, that's a that's a shoe in man <laughs> that's that, <laughs> that's a, a that's bottle a bottle of whiskey that's what i'm telling you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you want to get in on tonight's giveaway for the port night, yeah. it just, it's absolutely friggin' delicious. Um, mm. Remind me, what's the proof on this too? 118. Okay. I can't. So I was telling Shane before we started and I forgot to bring this up. The samples leaked, but not like leaked that I lost like half a bottle. It was just enough to destroy the labels so that i couldn't read most of it dude that was the first time i've had samples leak that i've shipped I've i was really i was kind of surprised but it's it the weather has been so weird yeah anyway around here the past couple of days so yeah. well i no did biggie. fill those samples completely full maybe that was it then yeah, I did. I, I was like, because I didn't want them to slosh at all. <laughs> yeah. I wanted it to be completely noiseless. So, <laughs> heartburn. Matt coming in with heartburn. <laughs> Matt Porter, Mr. ADHD Whiskey. Matt, good to have you in the chat. It's been a while. Hope you're well, buddy. Heartburn, though? Mm. Kentucky heartburn? Oh, you're two whole minutes behind. I see. I know what you're talking about now. I don't know. It, it's 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 more chill. It's more calming than heartburn. Yeah, it's kind of like a weighted. I get to feel like a weighted blanket. Ooh, like, the Kentucky the Kentucky weighted blanket. Yeah, it's like a constriction. It just kind of and it just kind of relaxes me. It's like, I mean, <laughs> hug is the right answer. It really is a Kentucky hug, but it just it's, it just kind of like suppresses me a little bit. Yeah, which is nice. Uh, let's see, getting a little bit caught up. We got two entries from Mr. Will Henderson. Oh, 
Will, and thank you. Me. And two as well from Doug. Golly. Doug H himself. This Kentucky Snuggy. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Donnie. <laughs> I like that, Donnie. Man, this just gets every uh, it just gets better every time I get into it. I'm really liking this bottle. So the the good thing too, these a lot of people, you know, the Jepsons. You got some of you've heard about the twins. Uh, it, it's got some some bit of a reputation, but I mean, you know, you see the bottle. It doesn't look appealing, right? I mean, it looks yeah. like Malort. Everyone goes, "Oh my God, what is that crap?" It's Malort. Get it away from me! And then you taste it, and you're like, "Oh wow." Yeah, well, this not, will be the last two bottles that have this old label on the bourbon. So now the, the next, which is a single barrel that I'm going to be God. releasing later on, is going to have the new label. Yeah. Um, but don't be fooled by those labels. And that's, you know, that's no. the other thing. Those are going to come in at, I think, like, I think it's going to be like 65 bucks, I think. I haven't got the final pricing nice. yet, but it's going to be around. Dude, and for us, almost seven year finished whiskey. It's not bad. Dude, I can't complain not, about that. No, I mean, there's people charging hundreds of dollars now for a four year old whiskey. You can't be too mad about that. <laughs> yeah. I want to ask too, because I mean, of course, it is, it's story time. Um, what's a story that you've always wanted to tell about a bourbon experience, but you haven't really gotten the chance to before? Like, nobody's asked the right question, nobody's like gotten to that. Oh, wow. that uh, particular part of the conversation. Um, I mean, I've, I may have said it a couple times. I don't know that I've really shared the story there, but I, I, I got a good one. I got, I, this was one of my first experiences really before I knew much about whiskey. I mean, this was back when I was drinking. I just actually started, uh, you know, uh, Eagle rare was a big deal. Uh, that was my, you know, kind of there my top go. shelf bottle at the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did have Weller uh, 12, and uh, which you could find all the time, and, and uh, uh, Special Reserve. Um, uh, but anyway, so a buddy of mine tells me, he's like, hey, man, uh, uh, I really like bourbon. And I'm like, oh, cool. I said, and then I, he's a good friend of mine, but we had never really shared bourbon before. But he he's like, you know, hey. Uh, I came over to my house. And he saw it. He goes, oh man, I really like bourbon and really good friend. And, and I'm, I'm a pretty generous feller anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I, I, I go, okay, well shit, his birthday's coming up and I know he likes bourbon. He doesn't really like the Eagle rare. So I go to the, the liquor store. Mind you, this was in, oh my gosh, what year was this? 2015 probably Is that right 2006 i can't remember anyway somewhere <laughs> around there i go in the store and i'm like hey i got this buddy it's his birthday i want to i want to get like a hundred dollar bottle of something because that you know again eel rare at 30 bucks was pretty freaking expensive yeah uh so a hundred dollars had to be epic and this guy <laughs> goes oh uh, i just got this this bottle in here and he pulls it down and it's a, you know, it's in a tube. It's in a yellow tube. And it says E.H. Taylor on it, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I, I go, well, I don't know anything about it. He goes, oh, it's, it's, it, this one, he said, this is a special edition one. He said, they don't release them very, very often, these special releases. Uh, he said, every once in a while, he says, I get this other one. But he said, this one's pretty special. So he said, you know, you should buy this. This is a pretty special bottle. I'm like, all right. I think it was like 100 and, I want to say it's 150 or 160 bucks or something. I, I don't know. So I buy it. Anyway, I take it over to my buddy's house to give it to him for his, for his birthday. He breaks it out and uh, he's like, oh man, this is great. And he said, I've never had this. Let's uh, let's have a pour. I'm like, all right, perfect. Let's have it. Crack it open and uh, man, it just, it was, it was, it was aggressive, right? I mean, I'm, <laughs> for me, I was drinking 90 proof and thinking that shit was cool. Yeah. You know, and this was yeah. coming in at a hundred and it was, it was aggressive. So I was like, oh man, what the heck? But it was good, but as much as I could stand of it. So anyway, we drank a few more pours out of it, whatever, had a good time. I went home. I lived in the same neighborhood. Yeah. And then like two weeks later, he calls me up. He goes, hey, man, I need you to get me another one of those bottles. And I was like, dude, I think that guy only had one. Right. <laughs> 
so he's like he's like he's like yeah i mean dude i i drank that thing it was so good he said i drank it um over the last couple of days just playing golf and stuff i'm like okay so i went and asked the guy and he's like no no i don't have it and uh he says i, I haven't he says i probably won't ever see another bottle of that and i'm like okay so i didn't think anything about it i just went back i said buddy he, he i said i'm gonna look but I, I i don't know if i can find it so i start looking and i then all of a sudden I find there's like all different versions of this thing, right? There's like each other, <laughs> small batch, there's barrel proof. There's like all these. And I'm like, Oh my God, what, what is going on? Yeah. So I said, I need you to send me that picture. Cause I said the, of that bottle, cause this they're all over the place. I don't know which one you got. So he sends me a picture and lo and fucking behold, did it say warehouse C tornado survival? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. I, at, at the point, it just didn't. It didn't click. Even yeah. then, it didn't click. And then, like two years later, you know, I saw it somewhere. And it yeah, thousands yeah. of dollars. I'm like, you are freaking kidding. Like that is <laughs> best best way to drink a bottle of bourbon is completely completely oblivious to the fact that somebody's going to go bananas for it. Yep. And just enjoy it. And just yeah. enjoy it. And we. I mean, I only had like two pours of it. He smashed the whole thing and. <laughs> It's it's funny because I don't feel like and I mean, I think that most people who are in the chat and who are watching can relate to this, that there's not many opportunities now to experience that because yeah. so we, we're so and it's it's a catch 22 because, uh, you know, we want to be more informed. We want to know more about what it is that we're we're drinking and you know we're also very aware of new products new bottles that are coming out but then you know we the the opposite side of that is maybe we get to be too informed or we know too much and right. we don't have that element of surprise and so there is no more surprise you were just drinking warehouse c tornado survivor congratulations you won whatever lottery yeah, this exactly. uh, <laughs> oh, man. this uh, th you you fell into here, but that that is a, I love that. That's yeah. so because you know too that you're feeling like even still you probably have that little feeling of like if I had only known back then <laughs> when I uh, when I was picking it up. That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> so let's uh let's get moving on. I suppose okay. to uh then do we want to go with the next Jepsons? Yeah, cognac. Now this one, I'm gonna warn you, it's freaking delicious. The the porch really. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a heads up. You're gonna love this. You're, you're gonna love this one. If you don't, and and I want you to be completely honest, by the way, completely, 100 percent, yeah, of course, honest. This cognac finish is uh, it is on another level. Yeah, it is to me. Now, don't get me wrong, that port is damn tasty, but this cognac, but. It just it hits you a little different. Yeah, it's got a sweetness to it. Um, it's uh, it's just unreal. And again, at sixty five or seventy dollars, whatever this bottle comes in at, it it'll it'll. I will tell you, I've had it beat. What did I hit my camera? My I camera. was wondering what happened there. All of a sudden, you were in a different corner. Even at Christmas, <laughs> maybe my chair's all jacked up. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I must have hit something. Uh, I've, I've had people blind this against some really high-end cognac finishes, and I'm going to tell you, uh, it's, uh, it come out on, came out on top against some of the highest rated bottles out there. I'm ready for it. <sighs> Dude, I'm telling you. Before we get too far into it, though, I do want to say thank you to the Mashville for two yep. entries in tonight's giveaway. He says, those Jepsons are hitters. Tried them in Vegas. Hello, you sexy-ass men. Hello to you. <laughs> the Mashville. Uh, this one comes in at 120, um, uh, 120 and a half, almost 121. Nice. Um, golly. This is one that I've been able to sit down. Like, I can start drinking this, and I can... Dude, my camera is like having seizures. What's happening over there? Every Dude, time I, I look have... away, something's something's gone haywire. It is. Uh... 
It is bonkers. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. Just wants to look over there for some reason. It's the ghost of Storytime Distillery. Yeah, I guess. He's just got to watch <laughs> out for that thing. Um, but I, this is one I can sit down and I, when I start drinking it, it just, uh, I, I can like just keep drinking, like keep pouring from this bottle. Like yeah. a lot of times I'll sit down, I'll, like I'll have a pour and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I want to, that was good. I want to go grab something else and try this one. Nah, man, I can sit down and just keep drinking this bad boy. Yeah. It's just really good. Two more entries from the Deathless Dogs, Mr. Dan Spear oh, himself. Dan, hope you're doing well tonight, buddy. So I cut your hair off. Yeah, I did. 18 inches. Holy crap, dude. I'm I'm impressed. Honestly. Papa Ritter's in the house too. Hey all. Hi, Dad. Look, see my camera's just freaking out. Is it moving or is the I don't image know, jumping? Man. It looks no, like it's, the it's image digital. Is it's digitally doing this. Yeah. It's not physically moving. It's focusing on something in the in the corner. Right here. Right here. Focus right here. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. <laughs> Keep it together. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, all right. I think I've put enough put this off long enough. I gotta take a sip of this. Mm. Oh man. Oh, the finish, though. Yeah, it hangs out in your palate for a while, man. It comes back and just, you can, this is one you can sit down and just chew on and chew on. I feel like I need to smoke a cigar with this. Yep, it'd be a good cigar. See, look, the camera's not moving, by the way. You, see, you guys are seeing my green screen. Do you, fold do you have an actual ghost in the corner of your screen? I, yeah, I guess. Look, it's like moving too. And it's so I, it's weird. That's I, so I trippy. Like hot or something. Who knows? It's, <laughs> it's a GoPro. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Still, though. Andrew West also with two entries tonight. It's Andrew from Canada. Andrew, mm. thank you, buddy. Hope you are well. It's good to see you in the chat to have you around mm. i i'm not i'm not even like <clears throat> fully ready for the next sip <laughs> because it just lasts so yeah. long it just yeah. is mm. there <sighs> okay there is something and you're right really really special about this pour I mean, it it drinks like it's kind of this like mix of two worlds. Like it it kind of like goes through these layers of like, oh, there's the finish, but there's the really strong bourbon notes, and then the finish is coming back, and then they kind of are fighting with each other, and they're trying to you know compete a little bit, but at the same time, it just makes for this really full, interesting pour it's really really good man golly i do need a cigar with this yeah it, it would uh <laughs> to me it it is it will be um uh, just so you know I'll, I'll let the cat out of the bag this is uh and doug's in chat this is going to be friday at fred's cigar blend oh so yeah because it will go very well with a cigar I'm just so it, it just like kind of shut my brain off for a second too because I was like I'm just happy with this. Yeah. Just just That's just very true. blissful. You know? Awesome. That's I just everything fell into place and just feel good. Not upset at all. I love it. I love oh. it. Man. So let's let's talk a little bit too about 
your because you you said that you are you want to distill as mm -hmm. well for for story time yep where are you kind of on that journey and what's the that that future looking like um for for story time so yeah drink goes uh <laughs> the journey of that right now i'm doing a lot of research on on kind of uh fermentation that's where it really kind of you got to start yeah uh the distillation process itself is not terribly challenging um sure. the most difficult process really is that fermentation getting those mash bills right getting the the yeast strains right and and understanding you know uh how those play um together right. so for, for me uh i'm i'm in that phase where i'm really doing a lot of educational research um again the, the kind of the the progression in the plan is going to be this i want to have distillation equipment on site within the next year i'm going to start hopefully laying down barrels uh, this time or a little bit later than this time next year um and those are going to be kind of you know my my starter but at the same time i'm going to be working with some uh some contract distillers to produce the mash bills that i want because obviously you know i'm gonna to have to buy barrels for the next you know three years worth four years yeah. worth uh to get anywhere um and then while that's happening then i then i'm going to be buying new make and start laying those down um i'll probably do that for three or four years and then hopefully by that time I'll have my stuff online. Yeah, uh, and it could happen sooner. It just, it just depends. It depends on how quick the market accepts it. How much, you know, if I do a good job and people appreciate what I'm doing and and you know w want to to drink it and find yeah. it tasty, then uh, you know it could take off really, really, really fast. Or you know, but I've got a plan either way. Whether it goes really fast or whether it goes slow, um, I want to. So on my property, I live on five acres. Nice. My house sits in the middle of the five acres. I've got two acres of pasture in the front and two acres of woods and a creek in the back. Oh. And also in the back is a 3,000 square foot building. That's where the distillery will be. The actual distilling will take place. Um, at some point, I want to move into a storefront and have like the full restaurant, distillery, brewery kind of thing going um, and make it a, a local thing. But I still want to have the the product uh that goes commercial I, have i showed you the um have i showed you what the the product's going like here i can put that picture up i don't there you go whoa hold on so, those are beautiful so chris luddig is just a fantastic artist by the way and has been instrumental in in story time uh which most people know that um, but this was, you know, I, I told him, I said, Hey, I want to develop this brand of whiskey. I want to call it crooners because I think I really want to transcend into that next generation. Cause most whiskey uh, brands focus on that kind of prohibition era. And I really wanted to look at the, um, more of that forties, fifties Vegas era. Yeah. Yeah, for and, sure. And so that's that's what we went after. And and I wanted crooners because to me, crooners were the best story time or storytellers of their era. And still are. They're still some of the best storytellers yeah, of course. In, in history or crooners. So that's where I came up with the name. Um, and then these this was I, I told kind of Chris, this is the idea how I kind of want these labels to look. And this is what he came back with. And I'm like, yeah, you freaking nailed it. You just freaking <laughs> nailed it. So <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, the uh, yeah, dude. that's the plan. Um, I love that because there's not a whole lot of like Art Deco labels right. on the market. I mean, like even still, they're not even really like that much. So the closest I can really think is Castle and Keys new bourbon and rye labels, and like yeah. even then, they're not you know they don't lay lean as heavily into it as you guys are but that is going to pop on a shelf yeah. for sure for sure I think, I think belfort does a good job of that they kind of get that a little bit um they use that kind of the diamond oh yeah that's right models. 
and uh oh. and then there's another company that has the fluted glass uh I can't remember the name of who that is. Uh, is it- oh, your Huckleberry Remus bottles too. Yeah, yeah, Remus yeah, bottles for are sure. Gonna have a little bit of that too, for sure. Yep. Yeah, that real Great so Gatsby I, kind of vibe. I apologize for, sure. for my camera, by the way. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a point where I've just kind of stopped, uh, yeah, stopped just, paying attention to it and just like accepting like, the fact that it's. Yeah, I don't know if it's hot. I'm like, I'm feeling it. It feels like it might be a little warm, but. Oh well, it is what it is. Get it? Get uh, a just a massive fan blowing on it. Uh, well, it's not. It's, it's. I don't know. Probably it's probably uh, Streamlabs too. That's probably not helping because eh. it's doing something with software. But it's uh, all good. So with with the advent of bringing out your all zone distillate, I, I imagine that doing these. This is a weird way to put it, but like these sourced picks will mm-hmm. kind of go away eventually. Is that kind of no. the okay? No, that and that's uh, so. That's the thing. So there's there's really there's there's three entities I created. All right. So there's there's Storytime Distillery. There is the Authors Guild, which is the Single Barrel right. Club, and then there's Long Road Home Foundation, which is the nonprofit. So the nonprofit will get 10% of all, at a minimum, proceeds from uh, Storytime Distillery. And then that's going to go back in the community through various charities, donations, whatever. Um, that's always been the plan. It's just not happened quite like the way I wanted it to, but it's 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 still it's still alive and very well. Right. Um, Authors Guild will go on forever. It will always be limited to 200 people, um, and that will re- remain forever. And the only way once we fill up that someone will be able to get in is if someone drops out. That's just, sure. just how I'm going to do it. Um, and then we'll continue as I get these special barrels and, and you know, we're going to find these special things. Those will only, the, well, they'll always be made available first to the Authors Guild. And if they don't sell out there, then we'll go outside and, and uh, we'll open it up to other people. But that's that's kind of the plan. I mean, it's not, it's nice to know because these are, we're two out two out of the four samples through and i can confirm they're quite delicious <laughs> thanks man I'm, glad. I'm enjoying i'm, I'm enjoying the heck out of this <laughs> got two more entries tonight from mr don nishida all the way in hawaii he says watching uh from the car for a few minutes but hashtag i never win well done <laughs> tonight just mm. might be your lucky night i guess I don't know. We'll find out together. Golly. Yeah, I love that cognac, man. That is, um... Part of me is like, I don't want it to, to go. I'm <laughs> glad I only had half of that sample so I can, I can hang on to it for a little while. Well, longer. the good thing is that's that'll have more bottles than probably any other release I've done because it was in a full size um, cognac barrel. So we were able to get, you know, there's a ton, there's like, 24 cases of 12 bottles so there's a shit ton of bottles so shana i think i need one <laughs> okay i think i can make that happen <laughs> <laughs> am i talking to the right person do i need to yeah. like you know have my people I call you people or... somebody who can pull that string for yeah. you yeah <laughs> my, my people though are basically like my co-host eric and my toddler so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are my people right now. My wife too, Ooh. but you know, wow. anyway. so well, how are you doing on yours? Well, I just finished mine. Okay. So I'm thinking we got two 16 years in front of us. One's yep. a double oak dry and the other one is a light whiskey. You are uh, going to want to leave dragon bones for last. Okay. There we go. Um, just because at 148, that thing's going to do some damage. Um, Swan, Swan said, I'm your people, dang it. Swan, <laughs> you are 100% right. Swan um, has done so much behind the scenes work for the podcast and for just Tim Bip in general over the past few oh, years awesome. that uh, you just, Swan, you are my people. <laughs> Kelsey, hello, Kelsey. Cheers, Barry. Good to see you, man. Hope Kelsey, you're doing well. unfortunately, I had to get a meet Kelsey, but. I did get to meet uh, uh, 
Oh my gosh, what's his name? <laughs> what's her husband's name? Yeah, exactly. Huh? You can't think of it either. I don't Dang know what it. We're talking about here. Anyway. Uh, pres- prescription bourbon. Cheers, guys. Should we call you Sherry or Pain? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, you lost me on that one, DMC. <laughs> Donnie says right, hashtag so... Team Swan. Popperator says I think I'm a people too. You are absolutely a people too, <laughs> Popperator. I think I missed a few people in the chat too. I'm really sorry about that. Sam Price is here. Hello, Sam. He says cheers. Sugar. Oh, I said hello to Sugar Kitty already. But I'll give you another hello. Hello. Um, <laughs> Whiskey Wars. Hello, Whiskey Wars. And it's Trev, strong. the bourbon wrench himself. Hello, Trev. Oh, yeah. It's good to have you in here. I love you, man. Good to see you around. Two of the loveliest humans on one stream. I can't contain myself. Trev, you're the best. Lots of people oh. say that when they're around you, Trev. Yeah. In honor of Trev's mom, who absolutely loves Malort, by the way. <laughs> I have uh, from our Je- our twins release we did, which was two single barrels of just Jepson's bourbon. I took a barrel, which was ST1, for those of you who have it or know what it is. We filled it full of Malort. We're going to age it for like four years and see what it does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, okay. Everybody strap in, because this is th- this is a first. Y'all are getting an exclusive here, the first barrel-aged Malort. Yeah. But we uh, have been joking, just a, you know, a few of us in like group chats have been joking about how funny it would be to see somebody barrel age Malort. Mm-hmm. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's already been I, in it for what, like six, seven months. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And we're going to try and we're, we're going to, now they've, they've aged it up to, I want to say seven or eight months, maybe a year, but we're yeah. going to go, we're going to go like three or four or five years and just see what happens. To the moon. Yep. <laughs> Malort has a barrel aged version already. Yeah, but it's it's like oh, okay. um, six months or a year tops. Oh, there you go. All right, so this Un- next unsubscribe. Model. Come on, prescription. <laughs> come on, I got to try that too when the time comes. Yep. But okay, so Christmas, Christmas. So this we released uh, last year uh, in a two pack along with a, another bottle from Cat's Eye. These both are from Cat's Eye. Um, it was a, a stout finished uh, NASA Family Reserve. And then this is a uh, KBBS from Toppling and Goliath, 16 uh, year light whiskey. Um, and so they had about three or four barrels of this. This particular barrel stood out. Uh, it's, and when you taste it, you're going to see why. This is probably one of the most complete whiskeys. When I mean, what I mean by complete is, I mean, there isn't a square micrometer on your tongue that isn't hit with flavor it is just it is all over the finish the mid the front the back it's just there the and, the nose is just nothing but a chocolate stout yeah uh it's so it's so rich we uh it was when we shared it with one of the first people that uh, the guy that actually we ran the, these bottles through the store up at Haskell's, his take on it was it is double chocolate caramel brownie batter. And when you taste it, you're going to see why he says that. It's coffee, toffee, caramel, just it's all over, man. All right. I can't wait anymore. <laughs> That is so rich. Yeah. Oh, the hug. <laughs> oh, that hug hits hard. If they ever made, and I'm sure somebody has, but like piggybacking off of that double fudge brownie batter. Mm-hmm. If they made like a, like, you know, like cookie dough ice cream, but with like brownie bits in it like a chocolate ice cream but with brownie 
cookie dough, I guess. Right. Shane, did I lose you? Can you hear me? I can. Your camera's okay, yeah, my... stopped, I think. Yeah. Hang on. Let me see if I can. Uh... <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally, I think that's. Here, let me follow and plug it. Plug it back in. Uh oh. You should still be able to hear me, though, right? I can hear you just fine. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. We'll reboot this camera and see what's up. Anyway, it's it's like a like a chocolate ice cream with with brownie batter or a, even like a brownie ice cream. Do you get the with, like the chocolate nibs that are on it? Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That like slightly bitter, like more bitter chocolate yeah. thing going on. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm gonna switch cameras. You're good, man. No worries. I'm starting to get go. a little bit of to to back. Hey, there he is. I'll take my green screen down because that's just annoying. I don't know. I think it's uh, right, it's I'll endearing. It. <laughs> it's endearing. It shows that. Uh, you know, anything can go. Anything can go. That's right. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm starting to get a little bit more tobacco on the nose too now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get. Yeah, you just. It's real dark. It is. It's real thick. Um. Yeah. I feel I really do feel like I'm eating just the most decadent dessert yeah, right. while I'm drinking this. Yep. Yep. And it makes would... me wish that like I could and if it would I feel like it would be a waste of, of the whiskey because it's so good on its own. But to like make like use it in a brownie recipe. Oh god, it would be retarded it would be so good (laughs) off the chain (laughs) oh my gosh that'd be ridiculous well the the next one we're going to get into um after that which this is again none of these are uh, to me you know we started off with the port which it kind of gets dwarfed when you start going up the chain here yeah uh but we've gone in like (laughs) into like every different universe we possibly can that's right that's right um, this one's just so complete. And really, the only thing I think that you could drink after this and really appreciate is going to be something like what we're going to drink next, the really high proof one. That one, uh, the most expensive bottle that Storytime ever did, and hopefully it's the most expensive I ever do, is it was <laughs> 150 bucks. But it's, you know, it's a 16 year double oaked rye at Hazmat. It's going to be expensive. Um, 148 proof. Yeah, 148. That thing in an old fashioned will blow your doors off. I it's one just one drink. That's a one drink night. <laughs> that's if right. that's the case, because if you're going full is... two ounces with your, mm. are you in that? Oh. Are you in the Dragon Bones now? I just poured it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It gets you on the I nose. saved I saved a little bit of the the uh, Christmas, Christmas oh, cuz I just I wanted to to enjoy it a little bit too but no yeah. the the dragon bones Hooly dooly Yeah it's uh it's it's going to get you And and it's here's, get the, thing, you. It's here's the thing here's the thing dragon you. bones it's it's always the second and third the second and third sip that's where it really starts to shine not that the first one's bad the second and third one that's where it really starts to come in on its own you're like oh wow this is really really something there's this real almost like so authentic that it doesn't feel like it's actually real character on the nose about like walking into a a real bakery like a small town bakery where they're just Everything is very, you know, exact and precise, and they have to do it very, very right because that's how everybody expects it to be. Like, it just feels, it just feels authentic. Hmm. Like, in a, in a, it's, it's weird and like almost maybe intentional is a better word 
for it. Like it feels very yeah. well composed, I would say. The good, the good thing about this, and here I'll show you. I don't know if you saw the bottle. Here, well, here's the label. <laughs> I love the label. So Chris did that as well. Yeah. Um, so the dragon skull I came up with, and that's what this is here. So this is a hand. Oh, that's cool. Little trinket that we. This goes on a special edition we did. Yeah. Uh, like I said, you're, you're getting the one of the special editions. You're not getting the 147. You're getting the 148 proof, uh, which we only did 15 bottles of. And it has a little more palette, just to, just just a stretch more palette on it. Um, this one, you know, we did this in collaboration with Backbone, if you know Nolan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, and we're he's got more barrels of it aging now. Uh, we're going to be doing this annually, Old Dragon Bones release, oh, and because he, he he ended up getting several totes of this whiskey and he actually next year's will be 17 year whiskey instead of 16 it will have actually aged 17 in the barrel um so we're looking forward to that too so this is going to be a continual release hopefully for the foreseeable future um with nolan and backbone top dog says no it's a two drink night <laughs> man i haven't drank christmas in a while man is that good it's so good man <laughs> And Pop Reader set it out by Dad. Yep. <laughs> Have a good night, Dad. All right. All right. Do it. Last time that I drank hazmat on a stream, I couldn't feel my legs for about 30 minutes after it got done. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm gonna get it just into this. Drink like that to me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I, but I could be a a proof hat whore or whatever proof i mean i am i am too that's the thing but it's been you know it's not every day that you drink anything above 140 yeah. proof so that's true we're gonna get into it cheers that wasn't too bad cheers buddy thank you so much again for being on the stream uh thanks for having me Wow. <laughs> Scott Pigsley, sorry I'm late, but your guest is terrible. Yeah, well. You're a you're a liar, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> um Scott loves me. Going into this, I oh that finish. Really grassy green apple? That's weird. I wasn't expecting that from a double oaked rye at 140 proof. One four, it, excuse me. To me, it comes back. Um, it kind of goes down, and then when it comes back, I get a, a little more of the vanilla. I, I get, get a little bit, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of vanilla kind of hangs out in there. For uh, sure. It's very interesting. To me, that's where that double oak comes in. Because most yeah, ryes, I don't get kind of that. Is it, see, I don't know. It's a, I think of because I'm an engineer. I think of it in analog <laughs> and digital turn. It's more of an analog. Oh, okay. Finish. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. whereas most rise are very digital, right? It's very. Yeah. This is a little more analog. It's got a little more profile to it. I get you. I totally get that. I didn't. I didn't realize you were a sound engineer. <laughs> uh, not a sound engineer. Oh, not Actually, sound. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. I got, I got stuff on Mars. I got stuff on the moon. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I've got parts all over the world. We got next time we're we have you on. We we <laughs> just got to talk about space. Oh. Like we'll I'm all we'll in. just we'll just get really high beforehand. <laughs> and then <laughs> we'll now listen to talking. pink we'll, we'll listen to dark side of the moon uh, you know backwards uh -huh, for uh -huh. no reason. Mm -hmm. and then we'll sit down and chat. <laughs> yeah, Ken, oh, Ken from Scotch Down Under would want to be in on that stream, too. Heck yeah. Heck he yeah. and I have gone in some pretty deep conversations. <laughs> uh, when, he, when he found out I've been to the JPL four or five times, he was about lost his mind. That is so cool. 
<laughs> I came up on uh, as anonymous uh, on the stream, but Sam Price with two entries in tonight's giveaway. Thank you, Sam. If you guys want nice. to get in on the giveaway, we're going to close that out. Uh, I'm going to say 9.05, so you guys have about 10 minutes to get in. If you want to do that, uh, you can find the link for Stream Elements tipping at the top of the chat on YouTube, uh, or you can do it directly through PayPal, Venmo, whatever is your method of tipping, whatever, however you want to do that. So uh, Scott asks a very good question. What's the giveaway? It is the Starlight. God, this, this camera sucks. Uh, it's again endearing, but <laughs> well, this is a different one. I switched to my uh, logic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, every everything's just endearing about your <laughs> your setup tonight, Shane. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Uh, but it's cute, uh, we drank we drank that earlier in the stream too. Yeah. Right. No, no, that was no. You have no. Oh no! Yeah, you're you right. That's the Sorry. Jepsons port finished. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Yeah, Brain. I didn't, I didn't no send working. you the port night. Golly. Anyway. All right. Now I'm going back in for sip number two. Go for it, man. You know what, John? You can suck it. You can suck it. <laughs> My camera was working fine. It just decided to do some software glitch. I didn't program it, so I don't know what's going that on. That is there. really really funny to me it is funny and john Man, that cracked me up i'm gonna pay you back don't worry <laughs> <laughs> this is like as as far as like the burn i guess of a hazmat whiskey it's very law of diminishing returns like i don't i don't feel nearly as much burn going back to it the the second time yeah, that's why I was telling you the second and third is where it really starts yeah. to shine. Because it, it's and it starts drinking like 115, 120. Yeah, it could get me in trouble. Yeah. This could <laughs> Doug. I'm glad his whiskey is better than his camera. Fucking <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Hold on, Renee, just spit out her drink. <laughs> oh, that's good. Scott Pigsley with two entries. He says, probably won't win. Scott, that's yeah. the spirit. <laughs> with that attitude, sir, you're right. You can do anything. <laughs> you could put a piece of hardware on the moon. That's, but I can't get a camera to work. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, Not a piece of hardware that you made necessarily. Just like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> a... a a power drill. <laughs> it just passes through yeah. through the moon's like atmosphere and just like just a small little capsule just drops it and you're like, well, mission accomplished. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you said you wanted a drill. I delivered. <laughs> no, we said we wanted you to drill <laughs> oh. into the moon. That's something I should have known yesterday. Oh, how much money did we spend on this again? <laughs> exactly. Ah, oh I need to make gosh. some phone calls. <laughs> Man, so how funny is it? I have tried to connect with you, I think, two different times when I'm going through Lexington. And we, we've we never been able to make it work, which is and the you, stupidest you thing out. in the world. You saw that haul I took. I took that right out of your back door, dude. I came into your neighborhood and I stole your shit. And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even know that it was there. No one did. Otherwise that was, it would have been there. <laughs> that was like if UPS dropped a package of like right. vintage whiskey in my literal backyard. Right. <laughs> and I wasn't, I wasn't home to see it happen. And my yeah. dogs didn't even tell me anything about it. <laughs> And so, okay, let. Am I allowed to show this picture? Oh, sure. Okay, because it's it, it's it's honestly a little rage-inducing <laughs> because of how just in 
intense it is. You could have smelled that from your back door. Is this going to work? <laughs> it's not going to work. Okay. Hey, Rance, Hold on. how you doing? Hello, Donald. It's been a while. Hope you're well, buddy. Okay, hold on. This is worth it. I promise this is worth it. Hmm. Uh, I did not design the part that's on any of the NASA rockets right now. <laughs> that I can assure you. Share screen. Window. Preview. Oh, All right, can we make this work? Of course you can. Of course you can. Probably not. Oh, for the love of God. Some nice looking rocks glasses, though. I don't know where I got that picture from. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what where that, that came from. All right. I'm just gonna share my whole screen because All right, do that. I don't have any I don't have any secrets. <clears throat> Man. I am I am not disappointed with any of the pours we've had tonight, I'll tell you. I'm not either, man. This has just been wonderful. Oh, is it because I'm using two monitors? Uh, I think it is. Oh, well. So I'll just, I'll rattle off for you all what Shane found here. I'm going to go, I'm going to go in order from least, no, mo from least to most annoying that he <laughs> that he picked up that I didn't know was in my backyard. So wilderness trail eight year, which I have love Michter's barrel strength. I uh, two the, is it? No. Okay. So a 2020 King of Kentucky single barrel <clears throat> and 2021 King of Kentucky single barrel. Uh, Old Carter American whiskey barrel strength. Batch one. Batch one. <laughs> one thirty two proof George T. Stag. I don't even know what year that was. I think it's twenty. Golly, it's the last one they did, and I heard they're not releasing one this year either. I uh, that yes. That's that's what I've been hearing too. Tainted so. barrels. It's ridiculous. Um Taylor barrel proof. Hmm, Don't know yeah. when from. And Those Brussels 13. <laughs> Just sitting there. That's right. All that was one store, except for the Russell's 13 was at another store. All the rest of it was one store ridiculous and there was Just two ridiculous. of those barrel proofs i let one of them go because a guy walked in he had a welder's hat on like the little beanie caps they wear <laughs> and a tw and a case of uh, pbr and he walked up to buy his pbr <laughs> and he says oh what's your price on those eh taylor and i'm like dude you can oh. have one of those if you want i said they're, they're, <laughs> they're both like i was buying them all i said you can yeah. have one if you, if you want one he was like, oh, man, thanks, dude. He said, I owe you a pour. You got to come over to my house. I was like, nah, I don't need to come over to your house. I said, you just enjoy that whiskey. I don't live in town. The, when you're under the hood welding them all, you think about the fact that some guy just let you have that E.H. Taylor. There you go. And you share it with your friends. <laughs> uh, Swan says, love you, Perry. Got to run. Swan, love you too. See you tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. Scott says, uh, Shane probably designed the part that's leaking on the rocket right now. Yeah. No, I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Top dog just poured port night, only a couple pours left. Wow. Yeah. Man. All right. So I think that is uh we have reached the cutoff for the giveaway. Yep. Gosh, I hope this is gonna work on uh or else I might Shane, I might have to send this. This to you so you can run it on random.org. I'm I'm worried that it's not gonna Yeah, I can do it. Not gonna run on my uh <clears throat> my shared screen for whatever reason since it's so it's just not it's just not happening. Um list randomizer. 
All right. Oh, let me just. Yeah. Hmm? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> I just want to see. I'll see first and foremost if I. Uh, I can. If I can get this to work. Ah, you got it. did that work? <laughs> yes. All right. You got it. So here you see we have 17 entries. I want to say thank you so much to everybody for for entering to tonight's giveaway. And also, Shane, thank you so much for donating a bottle to ah, no the giveaway man. to you, man. That was fantastic. All right. We're going to do five spins. Top of the fifth. That is going to be our winner for tonight's bottle. Good luck, everybody. Let's go. Spin one. Uh-oh. Scott Pigsley. Spin two. Uh-oh. Scott, Scott Pigsley, Pigsley again. again. Uh-oh. Not going to be the third time. Sorry, Scott. Three, Bill the Max, Nashville. Bill. Four, Doug H. And here we go for the big win number five. Good luck, everyone. Dan, Dan Spear, Spear, the deathless dog himself. All right. Congratulations, Congratulations. Dan. I'll get that That's out awesome, tomorrow. Man. Fantastic. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching tonight. Shane, thank you again so much for hanging out with me tonight. Where can people find more out about you, about story time, about all the awesome things that you guys are doing? Uh, you know, just stay tuned. There's a lot going on. Uh, like I said, it's just me now. So it's a, it's a bit of a overwhelming at times, but you can always go to storytimedistillery.com. You can sign up for the author's guild that will always give you access to our special barrels that we're going to release. And we're going to continue to release, uh, special barrels. Um, there are some, some bottles still available. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm just gonna, I try to be a part of this community as much as possible. And if you ever have any questions, just hit me up. Shane at Storytime Distillery, and uh, I'd love to chat with you and talk to you about where we're going. There you go. Well, if you all want to follow us, it is at my bourbon pod on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can go support the show as well at patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast for as little as a dollar a month. For as little as five dollars a month, you get a bunch of bonus content, uh, including the pregame chats that come out every week, and uh, either <clears throat> depending on what season we're on, pours from the floor or uh it's simply irresistible so go check all that out i uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your night i will see you next week thank you for all your love and support see you real soon until then i'm perry i'm shane hey, hey! <laughs> and this is tim bip live cheers guys have a wonderful rest of your week cheers what up dude <laughs> I saw you, but I wasn't going to answer until we were off. <laughs> uh, not much, man. What'd you think? Good.